Hello and welcome to this programme on integrated reporting, the proposed global reporting approach which would bring all of an organisation's reporting, not just the financial reporting, together. My name is Robert Bruce and I'm a financial journalist. Integrated reporting aims to provide a connected way of showing how an organisation's strategy, governance, performance and prospects lead to the creation of value over the short, the medium and the long term. It takes us a long way from just the figures and it is rapidly gaining traction in the business world. Late last year, after much deliberation and pilot programmes, the International Integrated Reporting Council released its framework. And with me today to talk about the current state of integrated reporting and to talk about its future progress and the challenges ahead is Paul Druckmann, the CEO of the International Integrated Reporting Council. Paul, can we just start with that framework? It's been published now for a couple of months. Can you just talk us through what sort of feedback you've had, what people have been saying, and really any surprises you come across? I think the surprises mm. has actually been the, um, the lack of negative uh, comments. What's happened in, in the release of the final framework is that, um, that people have seen that we've evolved and taken into account their, their comments and their challenges and, I, and so far the feedback has been it's a great improvement, thank you. So that's all going reasonably well, reasonably to plan, nobody said this is nonsense. Yeah. Um, what do you see as the challenges ahead? Well the biggest challenge is to maintain momentum. When we started out on this in mm. January 2012, in, in mm -hmm. the, the real pushing with mm -hmm. uh, cons yep. integrated reporting, um, you know, we were worried whether there would be momentum. Yep. Um, what happened was that actually we, it, it got carried away to a part that, I think, that you mm -hmm. know, Robert, was mm. way beyond our expectations. Mm -hmm. Of course, now we have to keep that going. So to some extent, I think that's a, a very mm. key, key factor. Um, the, other, the other challenge is to make sure that, that people are aware that we are talking about an evolution in corporate reporting. Yep. Um, there's still the mm. stigma about this being another report or more reporting. And in mm. fact, there's also the lack of understanding in the financial reporting community that we are talking about this evolution in corporate reporting, mm. of which integrated reporting is a catalyst. And the challenge to me is to not be yet more, yep. but to be <coughs> part of. Yes. And so you're, you're not part of overload, you're actually part of what people are trying to do anyway. Yes. Yep. And, and, and I think the interesting, I mean, there's a great point mm. you raised there about the people mm. doing anyway. In so many of the circumstances right around the world, you know, I go to companies and they say, you know, well, we, we're not doing this integrated reporting. And, you know, and in fact, they mm. are. Now, they yep. may not recognize it and mm. it may not be in the form that, yep. that we talk about but you know any good company is going to be thinking strategically and integrated reporting is not just about the final product it's about the demonstrating the integrated thinking yeah and so yes. they almost are all doing it and, 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 and the value and the value of what they get back from the integrated thinking process yes yeah and at the moment mm. it's actually you know, it, it, you find, what we find is that the, um, there's a frustration mm -hmm. um, from the many parties about, well, there's too many reports, we don't know where to get this, that and the other. And when they start to really interro you know, mm. interrogate what integrated reporting yep. is about, it, it's, it's a no-brainer. Mm -hmm. But it's hard to get, if I'm honest, the financial reporting co community is the most guilty yep. because their mindset is compliance. Yes. Their mindset is not what information is useful. And, 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 uh, and maybe that's an unfair categorization of a great, you know, of a terrific yeah. um, um, profession. But, but, you know, it's not their fault. It's where we've ended up. Because mm. they would prefer more compliance. And there is the question of how far you can continue with this without having some form of assurance, if only just to push the whole process into a, a critical mass, if you like. Yeah. I mean, how far do you think you can carry on? You've done very well by saying, well, it'll evolve and there's no mandatory stuff in here at all. How far do you think you can go before a regulator or somebody needs to come in and say, nope, you have to do this and then people will follow? I want regulators to create a regulatory environment that yeah. allows integrated reporting to flourish. Yeah. The compliance mindset is actually um, 
I, I, my, my interactions across the world with those in financial reporting, mm -hmm. both from the advisors and the that mm -hmm. set, as well as from the companies, as well as from from other stakeholders, is actually they are frustrated. Yeah, they mm -hmm. they know that that they want to do more. They're, they're often frustrated by the legal and regulatory environment that they're working within.